is Dawn Marie. Today I'm doing a video on homeschooling during the high school years. And I'm doing this video because I have seen a lot of interest online for information on homeschooling during the high school years. And there seems to be a lot of information, videos and blogs on the elementary years, but not so much the high school years for homeschooling. We have four sons, our eldest is in college, our two middle sons are in high school, our youngest is in elementary, and we have homeschooled from the beginning with all four of them. And while we're not experts on homeschooling, I figured that if I shared some of our experiences and our trial and error and our tweaks, that perhaps it would encourage and give some ideas and support to those who are in that journey or looking to embark on it. And then also hopefully the discussion that comes out of this video would provide encouragement and ideas for others. I want to focus primarily in this video on curriculum. We have opted from the beginning to use My Father's World and Abeka, and those are the two we've pretty much stuck with throughout our homeschool journey, with brief stints trying other ones, but always coming back to My Father's World and Abeka. We use My Father's World exclusively in kindergarten. From first grade, we then add Abeka for math and language arts. By middle school, the children are transitioning to primarily Abeka, with their online academy, the non-accredited version, and then once we reach high school, we transition to the accredited version of a Becca Academy. Now, there's, there have been some exceptions to that, but that's the general um, way that we have done it. So with our eldest son and our 11th grader, our current 11th grader, we used and use a Becca Academy. Our son who is in college, he did his four years of high school with a Becca Academy and our 11th grader has been using it for his high school. The reason that we have chosen a Becca Academy is number one, we just like the biblical foundation and consistency in that area. That they're in tandem with pretty much what we are teaching our children in terms of them growing in their own relationship with the Lord. So that was very important to us and one of the reasons that we stuck with Abeka. We also like the quality of their academics, the, the quality of their textbooks, their workbooks, their visuals, their manipulatives. The quality is excellent in, in our opinion. But then also the quality of the content. We like how the material is taught in a very logical and line upon line way. And then also for the middle school and transitioning to high school, we've chosen a Becca Academy because it allowed me, whereas I was teaching them in the elementary years, in the middle school years, I can begin to transition to the online teacher teaching them. And in high school, they're exclusively being taught by the online teacher. And it frees me up to teach then my youngest son. And it also gives them more independence in terms of overseeing their work, how they're going to watch their videos, what order they're going to do them in, going through the, the teacher's manual themselves to make sure that they're covering what is there and what they're meant to cover. And then my role being more supervisory in terms of how they're getting through it and also grading their work, that's also my role, and proctoring their quizzes and their exams. So we have been really happy with Abeka Academy. Some of the challenges that we've experienced, not with Abeka specifically, but choosing to do an online recorded academic program. Abeka is not live, it's recorded. And the requirement is that you have to watch each video in that subject before you can move on to the next video. And what we have found is that that is not as flexible as, you know, like if your student knows a particular topic really well, so you don't have to spend as much time on that and they can move on to the next topic. With Abeka, you have to watch the video of, of lesson one before you can move on to lesson two. So there's not that flexibility in terms of spending less time on this and more time on that because you can't access lesson two if you haven't completed lesson one. So I've missed the flexibility there and we've opted to do all of, of the subjects through Becca Academy. You don't have to do all of them through the accredited academy. 
you can choose which ones you want to do, but we've chosen for them to do all of their subjects and electives there, which means that it's a very full school day because if they have six subjects or seven subjects or however many subjects they're doing, they have that many video lessons to watch and the video lessons can be 40 minutes, give or take, depending on what's being covered that day. So that aspect of flexibility I have missed. However, there is flexibility in the sense that if you want to stop today and go on a long weekend or two week trip, you're free to do that and you just pick up right where you left off when you come back or if you want to take it with you that they keep working, then certainly if you have Wi-Fi and can access it, you can do that as well. So I've liked, I've enjoyed that flexibility and we have, I think, like a year to complete an academic year's curriculum. We have a whole calendar year. I'm not sure if that's because we fall under their international program or if that's across the board that you have a year to complete the program. So Abeka has really worked well for us. What we found, though, with our third son was when he was in middle school doing the video school, He's very outgoing and gregarious. He likes interaction. And the video lessons, obviously, that are pre-recorded don't allow for that kind of interaction. So this year, what he's doing, uh, he's now in 10th grade, and he's doing still an online program, but it's live. He's doing a live online program. He's actually doing live online programs for four subjects and he's doing them with different online schools. We didn't choose just one online school. We kind of looked at what different ones were offering and we liked certain ones for science and certain ones for English. So he's doing those, he's doing math, English, biology, and Bible through live online classes. And unlike the recorded classes with Abeka, these ones do not require uh, logging in every day. Math and English are twice a week, and biology is once a week for a longer block, and Bible is once a week. And he logs on, he gets to interact with the teacher and with students who've logged on from around the world, and they get to answer the questions and have class discussion, and that is working great for him. And then the days that he does not have live classes, he then studies independently, completes his assignments, prepares for quizzes and tests, on those other days. And that has been a really good rhythm for him. <laughs> to teach the material and if he gets to a place where there's something he does not understand then he can email the teacher and the teacher also has to tutorial times so the students can come online and interact with the teacher outside of class times at a preset tutorial time and anything they're having difficulty with the teacher can walk them through and, and talk to them about and my experience has been that the teachers uh, are also really good at getting back to us if we send an email or we're having difficulty finding something that's needed for a biology lab. They've really worked well with us if we've ever had a query or a concern. So those are our curriculum choices thus far. My current 10th grader, his first ninth grade, his first year in high school, ninth grade, we did use My Father's World when we were switching from the Abeka videos. My Father's World curriculum is written to the student in high school, so the student pretty much takes themselves through the lesson plan, and then the parent does a parent-student conference once a week. And that's a really good program as well, and it, it seemed to be solid in in the content it covered, and I liked how it wove Bible, history, and literature together into one. But again, for that particular son of ours who really thrives and does well with interaction, that was not the answer for him in terms of finding a really good fit for high school. And that's one of the beauties of homeschool, that you can find the right fit. So rather than stick with something that wasn't the greatest fit when there could be a better fit, 
we found the better fit for him and opted for that. So we have been really happy with our eldest son. Transition into college was seamless in terms of when it came time for transcripts and, and records and even him being ready for the ACT. Everything just fell into place and we were very happy with that. Um, obviously now with our third son, we'll have transcripts from different schools, history and Spanish. He's doing um, history, he's doing on his own and with interaction with me and Spanish, he's using Rosetta Stone. I think it might be a homeschool version of Rosetta Stone. So his transcripts are going to look a little different, but here's the thing, having, and having entered one into college already, I feel less uncertain about the process. So I don't feel as dependent on making sure that I'm with a particular school that's going to do it all for me. And I have a bit more confidence that has come with experience of having walked that way already. There you have it for how we have opted to choose curriculum and the curriculum choices that we have made and the little tweaks and so on that we've had to make along the way. I hope you have found it helpful. God bless you. Bye-bye.